Everybody, welcome back to MTG Arena's Chaos Draft. Just kidding, that's not what this is. We're going to do some Magic Online Chaos Drafts here today. And we got Bobby Butters here in the chat. Everybody wish Bobby Butters a happy birthday. Like you said in the chat. And this was a meme that was sent over right before uh, right before we took a break. And uh, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just a fan. That is good times. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, All right, and I was going to do something. <gasps> and then I always get the song that's on the, the break screen stuck in my head, and this time it was Kavinsky's... I don't know the track. Happy 526th birthday, Bobby. <laughs> Mike's basically a vampire. MTG Arena Chaos Draft brought to you by Ford Focus. Yeah, that's... That's pretty much the sponsor of the stream. So my friend Josh Martinez, uh, who owned, he was the owner of the Game Academy in Tampa, um, the, which is which has actually closed down since then. But one of the things he posted in 2016, which is very true, uh, and and frustratingly so, as someone who has played you know paper magic events at a, at a local level for a long time. Here's the shitty thing about owning a magic store. You can have your FNM in the main ballroom of the White House, but if the asshole down the road is offering 10% more EV, they will pay they will play in a homeless shelter. Like yeah, and it's so true. Like you'll go play at the local McDonald's instead of like the nicest store ever if the EV is 10% more. And the people who do that are just it's so frustrating. Necrotol seems pretty gas. Yeah. Return enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. This is kind of cool to build around. This could be really cool. <clears throat> That sub goal is 50% over. Does that mean we get 50% extra streams? So a 22 hour stream? I'd probably die. Morgan, how do you feel about this Sage Owl art? Is this good too? Or uh, is the other one just the only... Is the, the other one the only good one because it's librarian based? We should get Ford Focus to sponsor Mike B. Hi, I'm Bobby Butters here for the Ford Focus. I think it's either this or build around this. It's definitely Nerkrital. <sighs> I really wanted to build around this. Fine. I mean, it is. It's 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 not even close to the best card in that pack oh but then we could have taken into the wilds this card is actually nuts literally every time you draw a card the top card is always who, what did you take instead of this you took an uncommon instead of into the wilds that's really fascinating into the wilds says look at the top card of your library if it's a land you would put it on the battlefield so like every turn you're like would i draw this land i'll just put it into play instead it doesn't count as your land drop and uh you don't even draw it it just goes into play also, Spore Mound is really good as well, which is crazy for a common. It's 3-3 three, three, for 5. Whenever a lander is a battlefield, you get a 1-1. One, one. So I'm just going to take the Into the Wild because that card is bonkers bananas. Bonkers bananas. Welcome to Bonkers Bananas. May <laughs> I take your order? <laughs> Destroy a creature with flying is fine. 3-4 Trample for 4 is actually okay. Yeah, um, I'll take that. You would take that, you said? Mm -hmm. I also like Vivisection, draw 3, Sacrifice Guy. Serum Raker is good. Um, but I don't think either of these are worth like steering away from. Mirror Sire is a two two for one, and when it dies, you make another one one. So or a one one for two rather, not a two two for one. Pista Strike is also nice, just killing a flyer. I'm gonna take the Tangle Mantis, and maybe the Pista Strike comes back. Ooh, Switcheroo is nice. So is Prey Upon. So is even this guy's really good, man. Bobby Butters from Bonker Bananas, may I take your order? What is going on right now? Timber Pack Wolf, unfortunately, not great because I you probably won't find more. I would take Really? Well, no. We're not necessarily blue. But we could just, just take the Prey Upon. I do like Prey Upon a lot. I think it is Prey Upon. Switcheroo is great, but, I mean, all, the, all these green cards are really, really playable, so... I already saved. All right. Building a deck for you to critique. Now stay with me here. But Sultai Man lands, Drowned Catacomb, Lumbering Falls, Hissing Cry, Ramina Vault, and lots of others. I mean, that's a lot of lands. Ooh, Guilt Leaf Palace. Did you know that that was the exact land that, that is the color of our deck? 
Did you know that I don't care? But why? It was the knot. See what I did there? Cat with two heads, what's going on? Badger, I'm with you for that. I think it's good. Also, we call them creature lands, not man lands. But, but, that being the case, but, but, um, not that being the case, but that being said, I'm still game. How many creature lands are we talking here? All 12? Lumbering Falls says in Quagmire, what's the other one that you're not including? Creeping Tar Pit, right? Like, you named the two bad ones, but I think you want to name Creeping Tar Pit as well. Oh, drunk. Yeah, you're a drunk catacomb, but I still feel if I was like, yeah, that's still a land. That's still a blue black land. Skibbity bump bow. Servant of the scale enters the battlefield with one one counter. When it dies, put a one one X one encounters on target creature where X is the number of one encounters on it. One inclusivity buck. Nice. Preach, Morgan. Preach. Uh Durger Durger Nemes Nemesis. I remember someone read Nemesis as Nemesis, and I forgot who it was, but it made me laugh at the time. And I was like, did you say Nemesis? Dergburger. Dergburger Nemesis. This guy has Megamorph, so you can flip it up for seven and make a seven six. You get one attack with it. I think it's just serving the scale, I guess. It's not great. Whatever. Oh, Verdant Catacomb. And oh, man, you can tell this is Phantom for sure. This pack has five lands in it. <laughs> Two of them are actually like on color fixing lands. That's gas, dude. I'm time to take the Misty, though, just in case you want to splash blue. But Verdant Catacomb is... No, I'll take that Vert, boy. Yeah, I'll just take the Verdant Catacomb. Man. If this was a real pack, though, I would just open it and drop. I'd be like, yep. Or I'd just be like, I'm going to like to buy another pack, please. Is it Guildgate instead? Because it's two colors. Like, this is only two colors once. Like, the first time you... Eh, whatever, I'll just take that. Don't uh, be stupid. Don't be stupid. Uh, discard card each player loses two life. This guy's actually fine. It gives you something to do with late lands you draw. It does hit you too, which is really obnoxious though. Eh, it's still a two, three for three. Oh, our skull of orms came back. We can build around it, boy. Of course it came back. Oh, that's messed up, man. You can be a hater. Is it Blanchwood armor? That wasn't a rare draft. It's not bad. I mean, monstrous growth might just be better. I'm just gonna take this, and we're gonna see if we can do anything with it. You are a human wizard, Hattie. That was true. He actually was a human wizard. You sure he wasn't a Dimbledore wizard? What's a Dimbledore wizard? You don't know about no Dimbledores? I don't. He's like the main guy. You know, Dimbledore. No, I don't think so, man. Oh, there's mm. Lucas tattoo. See, we could have played this vivisection if we took the stupid Misty Rainforest. Actually, what is this guy? Four, 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 six. It gets as long as you control three. We're never gonna have Metalcraft. Hmm. I kind of just like vivisection. All right, we'll take the Rhino. You said Rhino. It's on color. Whatever. I don't hate it. Hmm. What? It's because he's always talking about how he's a robot. That is quite the commitment. Guys, what should be the stream goal for Mike to get a tattoo, and what should that tattoo be, be? Nope. You would never get nothing. Well, no, no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a suggested tattoo. Why not? What do you like? So, like, the thing is, like, what do you have to lose by that? Because I don't want a meme on my body. <laughs> Why though? What about your body? Is that sacred to you? Like you're like it's not like you're like it's not like you're one of those dudes who's like my body is a temple I would never desecrate it in such a way. I'm like nah dog that ain't you. 
I like wild size. Wild well, size. Quote, in quote, I don't want a meme on my body. Wow. <laughs> a banana and a coffee cup. What if we shaved your head and then tattooed your head with a funny hairstyle? So that way, whenever you shaved your head, no, just, you could you would have just, another hairstyle under your hairstyle. Just stop it. What if we got him a tattoo that looked like a stamp, like a little, like a, like a, like an approval stamp, and it said like "Property of Bobby Butters," a banana and a coffee cup. That's that's pretty innocuous. That's actually it's also pretty good. I think it's wild size here. Like this is my good little pony with a Spider Man mask we tattoo. But Wild Size says draw a card on it, so I'm game. Ooh, a Demir Guildgate? God, I really want to be Sultai here. It's like they're asking me. Elusive Crassus is also also pretty sweet. Hmm. How about the World Wake symbol? I don't think it should be a magic thing. Bober on one hand, Scrober on the other. <laughs> on your knuckles, dude. Oh, that would be amazing, dude. Or Bobby Butters across his knuckles. That would be hilarious. I'm going to take this elusive Crassus. And then hope we can get some fixing for it. Leaving Scimitar's all right. Leveler's terrible. Fabricate, not great. Told you I had trolls. Seven mana for a five, six, but regenerate target green creature? That's actually pretty strong. Uh, that's probably got to be the strongest card, right? Somber Hoverguard's great, but we're not going to have that many artifacts, so I think I'm just going to take this, the trolls here. Uh, the only thing I'm really sticking to for the black is the Necrotal. Uh, add one color of any mana spend that's only on to cast creatures of the chosen type. This is a fish mutant. So I don't think we're going to have that many fish mutants. Tempest Caller is real good. Tapping all creatures they control, though. I think it's actually Tempest Caller here. And now we're, we're just going... Oh, Garrus Companion is nice. So is Giant Spider, but we don't have any two drops yet. And this is also great for evolving the Crassus. Maybe the Giant Spider comes back. Probably not. But there's like 15 sets with Giant Spider in it, so... God, for each, for each enchantment on the battlefield, then we got Skull of Worm. I wish this was working, but we haven't seen any real reasonable enchantments here. Dark creature gets plus X, where X is the number of elves on the battlefield. This card is just insane to play against. If you have even one other elf, being able to give any creature you want plus two, plus two, is just insane. Regenerate? No. Target player loses one life in 01. That's like not new. We can take the island to help fix our mana. Wow. <laughs> Exile a Skeleton, Vampire, or Zombie. That just might be worth splashing. Like, if we get, like, some way to splash white. Like a Goblin Shrine. Like, just even having this in the sidewards. Just what about good. a Goblin Shrine? Trine? Mm-hmm. What's a Goblin Trine? You know, he's trying it out. Oh, we do have Promenade. We can be, like, make two elves. Plus two plus... Oh, what? Wait, what? What are you saying? In a beautiful cursive on the inside of his upper arm, idle hands, Satan stands. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. Jesus. You should like the you should let the chat make all of your life decisions. Wow. That would be a disaster. Draw a card for each creature you are you really think they'd make worse decisions than you do on a regular basis? Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Draw a card for each creature you control, one-one counter on it. We'd have none, but that card is good. So I think we're actually just leaning towards Jotty Offshoot. Jace's Phantasm could be good. We just, we just have no way to mill. I'm going to take the Phantasm just in case. It's still a one-one flyer. It's like a it's like a Pterodon. Um, where, you know, you can't actually... I have, but I've also met Mike as well. Shave your eyebrows and get happy birthday inked where the brows used to be. Nope, not but, doing that one. <laughs> you can just literally be Post Malone. Definitely no happy fa birthday. No face tattoos, man. I hate face tattoos. Then you get a big sixty nine, right? I've movie. never, I've never seen a face tattoo that looked good, ever. Not even posties. No. Dang. But no, you're right. Wild time. 
Our decisions may not be great, but they are entertaining. I see. I see. Hmm. Oh, none of these cards are playable. Hmm. Huh. This helps us fix with the blue. This is just a 4-4 four, for four, 6. I mean, it can gain menace if we have a red. We're not going to have a red, but whatever. It's, it's fine. Turn a creature from four, your graveyard to your four hand. Four six is a pretty bad rate. Cipher means whenever the creature does damage to a player, the controller. Can... Really? So wait, you cipher. Cipher means you can do it as many times as you want. That seems really good. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. So I get a guy back. You may exile this spell encoded on a creature you control. Whenever that creature does combat damage to a player, its controller may cast a copy of the encoded spell. That seems ridiculous, right? Like, I just turned the creature into return target creature. Like, I just, it just has a triggered ability. Yeah. That seems that really good. Nope. 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 What is this dude? It has, whenever it attacks or blocks, you remove a counter. It only has one. <laughs> and you're like, oh, God. Whatever. It's a 3 3 for 5. Yeah, the dress isn't bad. What happened? Did your mom text you? Nope. Because she texted me. Yeah. What'd she say? <laughs> There's nothing I could say. There's no joke I could make here that's that's appropriate for the stream, I'm sure. Yeah, I still don't feel like we're like in Tempest or Elusive Crassus territory, although I do think they're great. Oh, we have such a we could have, could have had such a sweet enchantment theme. All we needed was the enchantments. Oh, Mirko Vosk, Mind Drinker. 2-4 for 5. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal 4 lands. That card seems great. Also, this has got a little Mike card here. This just looks like Mike, right? A, wo a little woodlock crawler. It's because of your legs. You have this many legs. Forest Walk Pro Green, 2-1. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take the Mirko Vosk. Yeah. So you mill until you have four lands? Yeah. And also that makes the Jace's Phantasm better. True. Yeah, we're just going to take this guy. Oh. You wanna, you're you really excited about a triple blue 8 mana, 10, 11, something amount of mana? Triple blue 8 mana, 10, 11, something amount of mana time walk? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a time walk. It's 11 mana. Wild. I think it is. It just Triple might be Thornwood blue. Falls. What does this guy do? 3, 4 for 5. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. All right. Each creature controlled in one encounter can't be blocked by more than one creature. That's good. Cloud form also very good. He's a thick boy. Uh, Frontier Mastodon. It's a 3, 2 for 3. It enters the battlefield with a counter if you control a creature with... If you control a creature power 4 or greater. This pack's actually very good. I'm going to take the Thornwood Falls, though. It lets us play the other cards. I did pass the glimpse of the unthinkable, that's correct, but it seems like it's not as good. We only have one two drop right now. I don't think Servant of the Scales is that great here. Oh, Ink Feather Haven. That guy's great. This is a two two flyer for two, and then when it flips up, you can return another creature to its owner's hand, so you just bounce a guy. Yeah, that card's fantastic. I'll, Ruthless Ripper's also very good, but I like I like the Ice Feather even a little more. First time catching the stream, acknowledge me. All right, Fat Stupid Poopyhead, I acknowledge you. Now you can go home. Well, you don't think he's watching at home? What if he's just watching at home? How are you going to take out the colorless guy and leave in the 4-4 the four, four for 6? Because it's green. Why does that matter? <laughs> it doesn't. Why on time? Why on time? Why is this song stuck in my head? Oh, because of literal the card wild size. Got it. Yeah, so that was my first pick, so it's been in my head since then. 
This guy gets plus one plus O for each card with cycling in your graveyard, so he's not going to be very large. Uh, put three negative one negative one counters on target creature. Its control loses three life unless they sacrifice another non-land permanent or discard a card. This card's great, right? It's just yeah. neg three, neg three. Uh, whenever you cycle, nope. This can't block unless you control a zombie, nope. Defender, nope. All right, yeah, I'm just taking the the good removal spell. Flash flyer is fine too, but. <sighs> Imperiosaur. Very good. Oh, Penumbra Spider is also very good. I like Penumbra Boy. This guy's a 5-5, five five, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think it's definitely... Like, we have a lot of 4-drops, but they're all pretty fine. If there could be a 2-drop that could help us cast these things, I'd really appreciate it. This Into the Wild is nice, though. Wild side. We are heavy on 4s. That's the name of my hip-hop group. Heavy on fours. Yeah, bro. Hmm. It's kind of like rolling on dubs, but it's heavy on fours instead. I appreciate your respect. Thank you. Woodlurker mimic. That is a reasonable two drop. Whenever you cast a spell that's both black and green, it gets uh, it becomes a four five with wither. I don't think that's going to happen, but I do kind of like that it's a two drop. It's a two drop? And it does trigger Crassus. Or Unmake, but I mean, Troll Black seems like it might be a little difficult. Yeah, we're never casting that. This card is also never going to trigger. We have nothing that triggers it, but it's still a 2 1 for 2. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, but it's not exciting. I kind of just want the Unmake. Troll Black is fine. Like, let's say we cast this on turn 5 with Triple Black. Like, it's still a. Five mana exile creature. Just don't think we're ever gonna get triple black. Never, huh? No. Nope. When this deals combat damage to a player, you may search library for basic land card and put it on the battlefield tapped. Yeah, that card's that's great. That'll do. Sometimes I was like, man, can we get another four drop, please? It really Flare Husk is alright. I like it better than Vapor Snag. Oh, light after four? Well, we could. Hidden strings. You may tap or untap a permanent, then you may tap or untap another permanent, and it's got Cypher. I might just want Crypt Incursion. I don't think we're going to be playing any of these cards. Your decision does not matter. You don't matter. I'm glad we did pick up this island so that we can actually splash the blue cards a little easier. Funny joke. <laughs> Funny joke. This card, this deck does not seem very good. And uh, that is my, that is my feeling on that. Thank you. Spaghetti Touch with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Been a medium fan for years, but here's to one year as a sub. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Wild side. You ready for wild side? Okay. No, you will be. What's our dinner plan, dude? I don't know. No, I need Our dinner plan is to stab you. Hmm. And then eat your food in the fridge. Well, at least you've thought it through. Yeah. I appreciate your initiative here. I still feel like the blue is not that Probably great, Cauliflower Buffalo Boys. I'd rather go Wednesday because it's yeah. cheaper. But... I am a big fan of some Cauliflower Buffalo Boys. Uh, Battlefront Crushhawk is actually a fine pickup here. And... Do you remember the time you had that molting snake skin all over the place? Mm -hmm. What a nightmare that was. I'll just take this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to play the blue. Jace is fantastic. Ice Feather Aven. And, uh, maybe it's... I don't think Tempest Gin is worth it because it's double blue. But I think the other cards are fine. This is just a... No, this is... I was hoping the 3-3 three, three for 3 came back, but... It did not. Um, let me just cycle this idiot. Whatever. Idiot. Those cauliflower buffalo boys are at it again. Can't eat your food without stabbing you? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to do that.
Mirror Retriever. Oh, modular? Shoot. I didn't even know what we took because it doesn't matter. Shizoot. Shizoot? Shizoot? You might be the weirdest person I've ever met in my life. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a big accomplishment for me to have met you. We should cut all the double black cards and just play blue green. We have literally one blue card in the sideboard that's even worth putting in the deck. There's no other blue. Okay. Uh, what about the vampire dude? Hold on. We're, then we're cutting. You just said cut all the black cards. Oh, crap. He's a black card. <laughs> Hold on. Let's cut all the black cards and we'll play all the blue cards. Okay. We need five more playables. Where are Oof. they at? No, just play more lands. It's fine. Okay. 20, 22 lands, uh, 18 cards. Got it. Yeah. Some Goliath is doesn't seem exciting at all. That's rude, man. He's right there. Oh, we got two duresses? That's amazing. Do you only eat out? No, I eat, I eat at home most nights a week. But when Mike and I... Mike is off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so usually we'll get some food because those are the only nights he's able to Thank do it. You. Um, but Thank you. But most every other night I, I cook and I eat at home. I thought on make was wide. Happy Merbler. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy, with uh, happy birthday, Mike. And also, let's not forget it's Bobby Butter's birthday as well. Every day is Bobby Butter's birthday. We can go get tacos. Um, I don't hate that. I'm gonna let's put a pin in that one. That one's gonna be that one'll okay, be on the here list. We go. That was good. Uh, God, I think this is just the deck. I'm not like thrilled with it. Yeah, but that's what you said about the last time. I did, crushed. and then we end up, yeah, we ended up going like. This one has worse mana, though. Seven, eight, nine, ten, white, well, ten green sources. Six, seven, eight, ten, eight, and then two. Probably want a third here. Yeah, this seems good. Six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine, eight, three. I think three is actually fine because we can play Ice Feather even face down. So the only the only blue cards we have are Jace's Phantasm, Elusive Crassus, and Mirko. Merco. Merco Polo? Merco Polo. We also have both Centaur Rootcaster and both Into the Wilds to find lands, perhaps. Whatever. I think it's good. Maybe it's not good, but I think it's I think it's got some fun cards in here. I think it's beyond acceptable. Beyond acceptable? I would have said it's acceptable, but you were saying it's beyond acceptable. It's like, well, alright. Maybe I'm missing out here. Yeah. Maybe you are. I will keep it. This is an awkward hand because, like, if we get a black, it's closer to unmake. If we get a green, it's we can play this. But it's super far to... <laughs> um... It's super far from... You know what I'm saying. I don't have to repeat myself. Shut I up. No idea what you're talking about. Do you really not? I mean, it's far from Unmake. If we get a green with this, we're two black away from Unmake. But if we oh, get a sure. black, we still can't cast this guy. So, like, you want to get a green to play this guy, but, like, it's awkward because it puts you really far away from Unmake. Why all the time? If you draw green, oh... I think I'd rather just play this and see what happens. I don't think I care about the Garrick's companion yet. He has no companion. <laughs> he doesn't even he's not even here. He's waiting. Where? Where is he waiting? In the wings. My dad's. Yep, see there you go. Now you don't have to feel bad about getting the uh the old swamp Aruski. This guy's never attacking again. You'll never attack me again. Told you. Wow. Spot on. Oh, wow. Mono Death Toucher's up in here. That's a big dude. Well, now we can just feel okay about getting a Swamp Arena. What if Mike tattooed eyes onto his eyelids, then he can sleep whenever? That's true. If you were tattooed, oh my god, you could just sit here, close your eyes, and then I would just be like, hey, how you doing? You okay? And you'd be like, 
I mean, you wouldn't say anything because you wouldn't be. But but you'd be like, well, his eyes are open, so. Why don't you stop touching your own death? Do you ever think about that, you pervert? Why, Hans? I can't. I gotta stop saying it. It's not even. I'm just gonna crack this. I like that we have five drop, six drop. We have triple black card, five drop blue card, six drop, seven drop in our hand. It is uh, not ideal. I hope they forget about this and they attack with this guy and then I block and then I pump and it's gonna be really epic. It's gonna be like totally epic, bro. Yeah, I do not feel like this is gonna be a. Th oh, that card! Wow, that's unbelievable. That's your favorite. This card is unbeatable, man. Oh, and it's Jessica. Oh my oh, god. Oh, gross. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. Oh, that's not okay. He's got a murder machine. Jesus. Oh, that's pretty good, except for this guy is uh, literally gonna get, gonna get shot in the face. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. Oh my god. I don't actually know how we beat that. Well, we're boarding in both of the duresses, my dudes. Well, now we understand why they have so many death touch guys. Come at me, bro. I'll block with my Jeremy boy. Oh, Jeremy boy. I mean, if they play two Death Touchers in the first two turns, or the first three turns, I feel like that's a good indication that they might have a higher concentration than just those two. I can't play anything. I have to be able to exile this and this, and it's actually pretty discouraging, but we have time, I guess? Good games, let's do another cast. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh There's God. only time now. God, Verdian Longblow is such a, such a beating. Whenever this attacks, you may pay a white if you do tap a creature. All right, so they get to attack for one, two, three, four. My God, do you see what I mean about this? Do you see what I mean? How you doing down there? Doing all right. Okay. Just making sure. I don't want you to. You alright? Making some noises here? Yeah, I'm making some noises. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I am. I'm worried. I'm worried about you. All I do is worry about you. You got like, a little nose clog. You're all. like my son. You want a tissue? No, I'm good. Ice Feather Aven. More like Dead Bird got shot. <laughs> wow. It's aggressive. Our right. hand is just literally useless. I mean, everything is useless against the Ruthless Ripper. He's quite ruthless. God, did we take anything that would kill... <sighs> Crying out loud. See, I guess it was just a... At least this guy just acted as a bounce spell there. Yeah, we 100% on Make the Ripper. There's nothing else we would even target. We just don't have three blacks, so we're not doing that. Why don't you take a look on the wild side? I thought it was take a walk on the wild side. What song are you singing? The same song. Take a walk on the wild side is like a... Isn't that a Lou Reed song? Yeah, that's Lou Reed, buddy. Wow, that's weird that you said it, though, because we just drew it. We're gonna draw a swamp. Oh, we didn't. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Just kidding, not feeling good at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I think we're just gonna scoop here because even if we kill this, they still have another way to like. We just have to do so many things. All right, all right. So do we have any way to? I mean, we're just bringing in duress for sure. I'll take out the phantasm. Yeah, we have no real way to deal with that. We just have to hope we hit it, maybe. I don't know if I want two duresses, but maybe I do. I'll probably take out the zombie. Actually, this is a 4-3. This is a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, we can't even activate that idiot, so. Why'd you gotta be an idiot? He doesn't have to be. He just is. This is what you don't understand. You always ask, like, why does he have to be that? He doesn't have to. No one has to be anything. That's very rude. What if he's smart? But I can't. Well, I'm, he's not. How do you know? Because I just know. You know nothing. Go on. You know the rest. <laughs> you know. You know how it goes. In theory, this hand is good if we don't get shot. Wild ties. Notification of payment received. Yes. Correct. That is correct, Commander. You know, you know what that's from? Star Trek. <laughs> I thought it was Battlestar Galactica. Uh, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Did you know that? I heard it was just like the original. Thank yeah, it's you. A it's a shot for shot remake. remake. <laughs> Mom Prada, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I want to call it a resub because I know it is. Twitch is not telling me that they're resubs, but we know. All right, well, we don't see the Viridian Bow yet, which is nice. Crown of Empires, huh? Top target creature, gain control of that creature. Instead, if you control artifacts named Scepter and Throne. Yeah, that's never going to happen. False. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Forest. What would the rest? Which is sad because they really don't have it in hand right now, but I'm still going to check. Well, we're still going to find out what you do have. Rally and Blinding Beam. Hooded Assassin, I don't care about. Blinding Beam. So literally just plus two, plus O, oh, and tap two creatures. I guess we're going to get that. I don't really care about the other guys, the other cards you got. I don't care about the other cards. This is where they draw the bow, and you're just like, well, oh, it must be nice. Well, they're at, see, it's awkward because we're at a position now where, like, anything they draw after this point, they're just going to be able to cast. So it's never going to, there's never going to be a window for us to duress them and find it. Okay, well, the double green is fairly obnoxious. Oh, they say they just tap our guy down every turn? Man, that's sad. Hopefully they do it on our turn to get some, or on their turn to get some damage through. That's what we're hoping for. Wild time! Oh, they just killed it. They just drew bone splitters and killed it, so that's cool too. That is cool. <clears throat> uh, I'll take two, I guess. Yeah, okay. Can we draw a green mana? That would be great. So we know their one card is a Rally the Pleasants. So they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's actually surprisingly good here. Should have taken that. Chaos Traps actually managed to be pretty fun because you're forced to uh, build these decks with all of these. Yeah, I think we're just dead here, actually. Because we take 5 here, and then they can tap this guy down EOT, and then attack us for 10. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Man. Um. Alright, well, not dead. Not doing great. Look, they also had Typhoid Rats. They literally have 3 Death Touch creatures, at least. That we've seen. Oh man, OP has more to- exactly, see? Exactly. 
This is where they're going to rally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's still ten, even if we get rid of the biggest guy. So never mind. We did. Are you getting? Are you falling asleep? My eyes are open, boy. All right. Well, some of them might getting sleepy. So I may have closed my eyes for a second. Can someone in the chat emphasize like why that's not okay to fall asleep during uh, active conversations at four thirty in the afternoon? Anybody? Anybody in the chat want to do that? You ask and you shall receive. What does that even mean? May I suggest a shot of tequila with an espresso? That sounds like a really tasty combination. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. I lied. That was close games. No. False. Isn't it Mike's birthday? He can do what he wants. I think our deck might suck. <laughs> I mean, I'm also under this impression, dude. I am also not under the impression that it's not. What are we going to do on Mike's birthday? That's a good question. Oh, this hand is great. This is the winning hand right here, my dude. Where can we get fajitas? I want fajitas. Literally any Mexican restaurant. I wish there was a, Mex a restaurant, a Mexican Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm Carmelita's done. has fajitas. You know that, right? I can't go on Taco Tuesday and get fajitas, though. That's Why just, not? Because it's just weird. Because I feel like I'm throwing away the value. I'm, I can reveal this, but, but I value, choose not but to. It's, but it's the value of enjoying your food. Don't worry. I'll just get the tacos so you can feel the value still. I wouldn't feel that. I would feel like you're getting value and I'm... And I'm not, but uh, but if you get tacos and take out tortilla, you still don't have the, you don't you don't have the uh, the caramelized onions and the hot and the peppers, the grilled peppers and onions. It's got to be hot. It's got to be sizzling. They do. I want to hear that sizzle from across the room. You'd also gain the value of making me jealous because I'm just eating tacos where you have fajitas, you know. But couldn't you choose to get the fajitas? I could, no? but I wouldn't. Well, see, there you go, and then you make me feel like I'm doing something wrong because if you wouldn't get them, then why would why am I? I mean, I would, but I wouldn't. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm just going to play this guy for now because I'm not too scared of the 2-2 two -two and I'd rather just have this guy start attacking. Mike, what's the best pepper to fall asleep to? How do you fall asleep to a pepper? But, but you can fall asleep to anything. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at this pepper until I fall asleep. <laughs> I mean, you could look at an active chat in a magic game and fall asleep, so that seems much less exciting. I have yet to fall asleep, okay? Not for any extended period of time. Draw four cards, then choose X cards in your hand and discard the rest. So they draw four or discard four. So they're just literally cycling. Get basically. tacos, split fajitas. <laughs> yet to fall asleep today. <laughs> That's a good addendum. What has... Gosh, oh, I guess we just win because we have Centaur Rootcaster. And, all right, so that was interesting. What? How are you going to cast... How are you going to cast Breakthrough for four? Draw four cards, keep the best four cards, and then concede afterwards. That seems strange to me. It is card disadvantage. It's basically the same as, like, Frantic Search, where you're drawing two and then discarding two. However, the difference is Frantic Search at least gives you some sort of... Uh... That's what we're looking for. Toilet. It gives you some sort of toilet, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Would you board in? I didn't board anything in. We saw two cards. Nothing? Nothing? I'll keep this hand. Man, we've had a good, we had a good hand last game, and that was really. What is this? A brass net? It doesn't untap your untap step. You may pay one. What the? F All right. You know what? So sure. it's a one mana, one one flyer that you have to pay one for to untap. Yeah. 
Huh. I guess that's a magic card. Oh, get the tacos with a side of peppers and onions? That's actually not a terrible idea. I'm like, how much is a side of just grilled peppers and onions? Dude, I think you just might have gamed the system. And then I could just put them on. I can I can liberally apply them to my tacos. Wow. That's really you're you're that you're trying to get me to live my best life here, and I approve. It really depends on how much the peppers and onions cost, though. Uh, is there any cost that would out, that would price me out of it? Probably not. Mm -mm. How about sixteen dollars? Okay, I'll probably just get the fajitas okay. by themselves All then right. at that point. Take me by the hand, dude. We're getting absolutely assaulted. <coughs> they ain't even attacking us with Natty Boy. Okay, now that's worse, but still. Our removal suite is not great. Okay, well, we haven't hit a land yet. Hmm. And here's a floaty boy. All right, well, I'm just going to cast this guy for now. This is really bad for us. So we take one, two, three, four, five, six, eight if we if they attack with this guy. Wow. Man, eleven ninety nine fajitas? That's cheap. You're cheap. Kinda. I'm not even yawning. Don't say you guys yawning. I haven't yawned once. If I've yawned, roll it's, the clip. It's different. It's it's literally just okay. That's just gonna kill us then. Wow, you just literally played two creatures that tap creatures. Well, we're basically dead. So you tap this guy and then you kill us. Seems bad. You can go tap, tap. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's toughness two or less? Oh, that's pretty cool then. All right. I guess we're not strictly dead. He untapped the brass boy. We're done for. He untapped the brass boy. I mean, with that gel on his sphinx, I actually feel like it's not um, that it's not that great for us, actually. Does he just use the stitcher to tap your vampire and the other guy to tap your other guy? Uh, the other guy can't tap. It's a toughness. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seems good. But so I guess they don't have to tap this guy because I forgot this guy would be getting flight. So uh Yeah. Our deck is um it's actually not good. And this might have been the biggest drafting mistake that we've made thus far. But uh you know what? I'm gonna try to keep the faith and uh believe that we can get this one out and uh by the scrober die by the scrober huh I don't feel like six drop five drop six drop six drop seven drop is really where we want to be uh, I don't feel like this is great either but I don't really want to yes all right I don't really want to go to five here even though we do have four drop four drop four drop six drop hey Mike how far away is Frank um <laughs> yeah you better check buddy check it out about seven inches. Target attacking or blocking. Yeah, that card's great. Unfortunately, our hand is not. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. 02 incoming. Fa 04, 02, 04 incoming. Like, fashionably incoming. The brass snap makes a lot more sense with this. Okay, yeah, this is this is just unbelievable. Like, we, 
our mana base is terrible. We shouldn't have been splashing for the blue, I think. And uh, we've just learned our lesson very, very, uh, very. Oh look, well we got we got another land, but we also don't have uh, double black for the two removal spells, which would have been ideal. So I guess instead we'll just play this Tangle Mantis. Yeah. Woo. <sighs> Are you okay? What's even wrong with you, man? That was just my sigh of relief. That's not a sigh, nor did it sound relieved. Oh, that's pretty alright. We kill this, and then we only take four, five, six. That's alright. I think we did it. It's alright. It's alright, it is. <laughs> and... Right is rain. Guys, this is going to be a quick one. I apologize for this uh, short little short little experiment. In, this little uh, romp. Oh, we actually did win a game. We we won a game that so it's, it's an O four. It's a it's a it's a one four O two. That's what it is. Not ideal, but here we are. One so four O two. Huh? I am going to drop from the. Actually, it's it's a chaos draft. It's not a uh, it's not a regular draft. So we could get forty play points. So I'm just gonna play it out. We're just gonna play it out because we're Playing probably it out forty play points. We're probably just gonna get rewarded by playing against an O two scrub, and then we'll just win. LC once took a poo at my house and forgot to flush. I found it two hours after. Is that true? <laughs> I don't think anyone just forgets to flush the toilet when they poop. I don't think that's a real thing that people do. According to Mad Safe, it is. Because I feel like you spend your whole life getting that pattern down. You're like, all right, I poop, I wipe, I flush, I leave. Like, it's just a very simple pattern that everyone is, like, um, already, already accustomed to. All right, what is this clip? I didn't know that was. I didn't know "God Save Your Mom" was even a clip. What is this? Did I did? I uh, went. God save the queen. God save your mom. <laughs> is she in danger? Would you say? Every night. Hmm. She's in danger every night. That's because she's a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> did I did? I uh, went. God save the queen. <laughs> oh, that was God the draft where we did the voices the whole time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> She's a prostitute. Wow. All right. Well then. Oh boy. a good one <laughs> Morgan as a judge can you tell me if I play this flare husk after I play this crassus if it will evolve it or will it be a zero zero coming into the battlefield because that definitely affects my my decision here oh dang it no evolve biscuits all I wanted to do was evolve. Oh, man, I'm taking my mother in this man. But on the bright side, I could just put this on the elusive crassus and get my 1 1 the same way. That's kind of like he evolved. It's basically the same thing. What problem is, Michael? Well, sorry, we can't even meet your low bar. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I don't ask for a lot. I just want evolution. Get him. We just had a discussion work when drunk White Castle or Taco Bell. Uh, I would prefer actually White Castle currently because White Castle has the Impossible Burger, which is utterly insane. And if I could get like, if there was a White Castle around here where I could get like a six pack of of Impossible Burger sliders, oh my god, I would go there daily, dude. Daily, huh? Daily. Well, you'll be dead soon. Daily. They're they're made of plants, buddy. I don't know, man. It's still fried and cheesy and. 
You're fried Friday. and cheesy. You dummy. Also, I don't drink, so God, this question is really this really, question is really poorly suited I for me. I would have to say Taco Bell because all we have is Taco Bells. We don't really have White Castles. In I love it. Florida. I love it when meat eaters try the Impossible Burger, and this is then they're like, "This is really good." Like Felipe, who is our friend who who eats only meat, like he doesn't eat any like veggie things really. Uh, he tried the Impossible Burger, and he was like, he made a Facebook post where he was like, "This is really good." I would if I didn't know if I didn't actually know I ordered a, a veggie burger, I wouldn't know. And that was that's like that's like the biggest praise, and like it makes me really hopeful for um, non meat meat in the future. Non meat meat. <coughs> oh meat meat. Uh, oh, dude, dude. I eat chicken and turkey. Those are the only two meats that I occasionally eat. So I actually don't eat a ton of meat. Uh, but after He's that, chickenarian. But like whenever I can eat, I'll be, I'll even eat like veggie chicken nuggets or veggie chicken patties and stuff. Like whenever I can eat a vegetarian alternative, I, I will because I have no reason not to. And I like animals. People are always like, why are you vegetarian? I'm like, because I like animals. Because I think the value of having them alive is greater than the value of me being able to eat them. We get into this, this food talk a lot of, on the stream, though. So, Ocean Mike. Take my mom. What is this song? You it's a really, you've heard the song, though, right? I think I have, yeah. It's really weird. Wow, they just killed my root caster. That's actually pretty rude. I really wanted that guy to get my landies. Oh, well, we have this guy. Oh, and this can't be blocked? Oh, my goodness, Grashams. Why can't it be blocked? Because it says can't be blocked. Oh. <laughs> Why can't it be blocked? It's just that's how they made the card. They just wrote it, th wrote it on there. Huh. But I heard the hamburger I just ate was talking shit about your mom, so I took care of it. No beats, buddy. I appreciate it. You got my back. Good looking out. Good looking out. Why are you vegetarian? Because I fucking hate vegetables, that's why. Someone's got to keep them down. Because they killed my family. Oh, take a walk on the wild size. Take a walk on the wild size. Wild size. You know how it goes. You know. Do I... Buddy, you know it. I don't want to attack with either of these guys, to be quite honest. I'm just going to pass the turn. Oh, Beyond Meat is also good. And it's funny because I thought Beyond Meat was super, like, like top tier. But then I tried the Impossible Burger and I was like, this is a step above that. So, like, if Beyond Meat is great, Impossible Burger is, like, perfect. But, yes, I would still go to the, the Whole Foods and buy the, buy the Beyond Burgers as well because they are insane. When can I get a... Oh, we should just go get some Impossible Burgers tonight. When can I get, where can I get an Impossible Steak? Uh, I'd say give it a few years. They're literally working on stuff like that. Oh, I just looked up impossible, and that's probably not going to do it. Maybe a little vague. Impossible meat. Oh, they're making like, yeah, they have like impossible meatballs and sausages, like ground beef and stuff. Hmm. It looks insane. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I look at the impossible meat, and I'm like, this, this is real meat. I don't know what's happening. If you guys haven't checked impossible foods out, you should definitely check it out. How do you feel about lab-grown meat? I mean, as long as it's not... I mean, if it's not taken from a sentient being, I I think it'd probably be fine, right? Like, I don't... It would solve a lot of our uh, issues, too. And you get rid of all the factory farming, which is literally... Right. ...destruction for the environment, so... Wild mics! Can I get any creature to evolve this guy? Oh, that's really... Oh, that sucks. 
That's really frustrating. And it gets to explore. Oh my god. What a combo. I like what they did at the end step. Did they play a lamb that turn? Because that's hilarious. Yeah, they did. Alright, well, Into the Wilds is nice. Into the wild side! You must be stopped. You can never stop me, buddy. God, they're just drawing all the cards, my dude. If D&D &D doesn't end up doesn't even cancel tonight, I might just get impossible. You should totally do it. Anyone who just, like... The only reason not to try it is because, like, you've had bad experiences with veggie, veggie alternatives in the past, and I think that's fair, but, like, it's a very different experience, so you should definitely try it. Like, if you're only not trying it because you just love meat and you don't want to change, like, that's dumb. Don't be that guy. It's definitely... Just give it's, it a try. It's literally just food, and you can just eat it, and that's the end. And it tastes like a food that you already enjoy. Like, that's literally the extent of it. So, I would definitely give it a shot. Oh, Jellyfield Donut, you've already had it. So, nice. That, uh, there you go. I think it's, did it start raining heavily again? Sounds like it. It sounds like it's pouring outside. So, that just means the internet's probably going to go at some point, so... I'm a meat eater, but Impossible Burgers are like my top five burgers. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I love Barman, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, the the location... It's funny because I've been watching... If you go to the Impossible Burger website... Oh, man, I should totally get Impossible Burger to, to, to sponsor the stream. That'd be such gas. Um, if you go to ImpossibleFoods.com, you can actually check the locations of where the where they are. And it's funny because over the past, like, three years or so, I've watched the locations increase. Like, when I first moved back, it was, like, two or three places. Now it's, like, five places or six places. And uh, it's just really, it's kind of it's kind of sweet just watching the, the locations grow. The aftermath can't be any worse than regular. I actually imagine it would be better, to be honest with you. Dave and Buster's has them too? Man. That's adult Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's, it's like also, uh, what was the other place? That was Game... It was the one in Tampa. Barcade? No, it was literally a, a chain. It was There was one in Tampa, there was one in Seattle. What was it called? Game... Stu oh, I know what you're talking Game... about. Um... Game Works. Yeah. Yes, Game Works. Come on, game. It's got game in the name. Oh, God. We're, there's no White Castles on East Coast, right? Well, not in Florida. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I looked at White Castle. They're like, did you mean Burger King? There's a Crystal Burger, but I don't think they're going to have it. Those are, it's a completely different thing. Oh, they got the a Terrace Worm on top. It's a 5-5 five, five for 7 with Scavenge. You can exile it from your graveyard and put a number of counters equal to its power. So, yeah, good. Plus five, plus five. That's a reasonable amount. I feel like we're way behind here. So I don't actually think we're winning this uh, this third game, as it were. Third match. Yep. Wait, one swamp on make on top. Cool. Cool. I would get spaghetti noodles and cover them in nacho cheese sauce. Morgan, no. Just no. Please, no. Just no. Please, no. Jesus, God. Oh, God. I think I got a case of the vomititis right now. The chick? What is that? It isn't a meat substitute. Frank? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Actually, I guess I could just go to the impossible webpage and see if there's anything new, which I, I just looked like a week ago. Oh man, that is, a, is fancy. that is a lot of locations too. 19 in Tampa. 
eight in this Clearwater area. Wow, that's twelve insane. That's insane, dude. Green Market Cafe. It's literally like right off Gulf to Bay. Ford's Garage. Bar Louie also at the Countryside Mall has it, which is pretty sweet. Didn't Bar Louie also have some kind of ridiculous cheap burger deal someday? Maybe. I don't know if the, the usually the Impossible Burger is not included because I think they're a little bit expensive, like they're a couple bucks more, but. Wild size. Let's find out. Wild size. Wild mics. This could be anything, and I have no idea what it is, so. They're just going to flip it and make it a 5.5 five or some nonsense. Oh, God. It's going to be Wooly Loxodon. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, I have no incentive not to do this. Yeah. Well, this is, this is going well. I mean, I guess we could... No, we're just dead. They have literally an 8, eight and 8, 5, and another 5, 5 in hand. Yeah, I feel like their deck is what our deck wanted to be, but oh, we just... that's pretty good. What? Tuesday, 5 p.m. until close. $5 specialty burgers with tots, chips, or fries. Oh, that's... Ga that's Today's Tuesday. Right. You should call them and be like, Hey, does your, does your deal include the Impossible Burger? Yeah, we could do that. Not right now. Why not? On the stream? Yeah, why not? Okay. It's interaction, man. You get these people involved in our lives. Our wild lives. It's just wild side. It's not wild lives, but you know, it was just a, it's just a little meme. I want Magic to make an O5 Death Touch creature. Hey, I just had a quick question. You guys have that five dollar deal tonight for burgers? Yes, we do. Have and I want to know: is it? Uh, I have a friend who wanted to see. Can you do that with the Impossible Burger? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Bye. Okay, $3 more is not a reasonable increase. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> why did you have to clarify that? See, she doesn't this care. Why, this is why I didn't want to call on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I got a friend. It's not me. I, don't, I eat meat. But my friend, he don't like it. So uh, if he was to come in, would you... <laughs> what, would you be able to substitute? Like... Yeah, three dollars more is not reasonable. I mean, I'd still do it for eight bucks. Eight bucks is great. Like that's fine, especially because the one at uh, Burger Monger ended up like with a burger, fries, and a drink at Burger Monger. It was like nineteen bucks for me. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. But if Bar Louis, like, if I can just get a, an Impossible Burger and fries for like eight bucks, like that's a deal. I'll do that. Three bucks is not reasonable, but it's also you're not paying for ground beef. You're paying for a very, a still very uh, low production meat substitute. You know, so it, I understand it. I don't think it's great, but I understand it, and I'll support it. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I got a friend. <laughs> I was like, as soon as you said that, I was dead, dude. I was like, why would you cause him? She's like, oh, your friend. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, why did you, you should have told I'm her my name. on the phone, okay? Yeah, I got a friend. His name is Frank. He lives with, he, we're roommates, but like, uh, we've been friends for like years. Um, would you be able, <laughs> you be able to do Please have Mike call more people. Can you substitute for that? Can you accommodate his uh, really weird dietary needs? Is that possible? Oh my god. <laughs> that was well worth it. I'm going to be honest I'm glad with I you. Could, could entertain you. That was, <laughs> that was good. It was very good. Also, I think Barlow's open super late, too. Yeah, they're open to like 11 at least, I think. And this is a movie theater, so we can see Bumblebee and be the only ones in there. I wonder if it's actually showing still. Dude, I would go see it. Also, they confirmed that it is a reboot of the Transformers series, so. All right, give me a land. Land one time. That's ah, playable. I accept that. He, he top made the Pro Tour, but he no eat the meat. 
<laughs> well, that's okay, sir. Those don't need to be. Those are. Those aren't mutually exclusive. So. <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking? What are you? What are you hearing? I'm just laughing about the situation. I'm <laughs> laughing on myself, basically. <laughs> like, because you could have just been like, "Yeah, can you do Impossible Burger for the for the five dollar deal?" So then you're like, "Hold on, let me tell you a little story. Let me weave you a little story here." No, they don't have it at the theater. Oh, f- come on. I guess I could just download it. I bet it's on. I bet it's on the uh, the legal websites that allow you to download just movies. Just around the internet. Oh, if we if I can download, it, I'm just gonna watch that tonight. Tonight there's gonna Ooh. be a bumblebee. Oh, it looks like it's a good one. All right. <sighs> it's also got Korean subs. So that's nice. I'm the president of the Hate the New Transformers Club, and I liked Bumblebee. Yes, that's what I want to hear. I want anyone who has a, a critical opinion of the original Michael Bay ones to like it. And to be fair, I actually liked the first one. The first Transformers, because it was new and it was fresh, and I was like, they could do a lot with this. And then they were like, now nah, we're good. Uh oh, this feels bad. Oh, they were like, wait, wait, hold on. Mike, can you call Starbucks and ask for the price of venti kimchi skim la soy latte? Ask for a friend. <laughs> yeah, can you tell me if you can uh, substitute the Impossible Burger for that? Asking for a friend? She's like, all right, weird flex, but okay. Michael Bay does hate movies. <laughs> a friend. Nice. I can't even handle it. It's just the question alone. You're just like, I don't understand why you click. Oh boy! So it's a three-three. This is gonna be. Why don't I have another elf? I guess it's just let it die. Yeah, I have a friend who wants to know if Bumblebee's still playing at the theater tonight. He really likes Transformers. <laughs> I can't. I, this should not be as funny as it is. Oh my god, dude. Hey, I was wondering, um, I know you guys show movies. I just want to know if my friend could go see Bumblebee tonight. <laughs> uh, no, sir, that's not playing. All right, thank you. I'll let him know. I'll tell him that you said that. Okay, sir, whatever you have to do. I got a question for you. Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is this? This? No. This? Yeah. Oh, that's a DAC. That's a digital audio converter. Uh, it converts the audio from these speakers, uh, or well, the the audio that's output from the computer from digital to analog. Or analog to digital. I think it's. I actually forgot which way it goes. Huh. Either way, it makes the it makes the audio significantly better. Okay. Which is I which is nice because I bought these speakers and their audio engine and they're really really nice, but they're like. Uh, they're like they're like four hundred bucks, but I was like, I don't notice a four hundred dollar difference. Then I got the DAC, which is like a hundred bucks, and then I noticed the difference, and I was like, oh wow, this is significantly different. <clears throat> Woodland guidance: Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Clash to the opponent. If you win, untap all forests you control. Oh wow! All right. Unholy hunger, and we got unmake. So we did not win the clash. No, you did win the clash. Yikes. I'm going to put you on the bottom. Because, again, you're not great for us. <coughs> 169. Nice. This is the DAC I have. I have actually considered giving, not like a tour, but like doing a video of all the components and stuff that I use. Because I put a lot of effort and research into the things I buy and use. Meanwhile, I have speakers that cost like ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Logitechs. Wow, they got to search for three lands. This is brutal, man. Wait, but they only, they don't get the old Holy Hunger, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. 
This deck's mana is a yikes for me. Yeah, that's the main problem with it, I think. We don't even have an elf in hand. That's terrible. We do have one in the deck. Well, it's in the graveyard right now. Oh. Well then. Cook bounce this little gentleman. Perfect for providing high quality audio to speakers or headphones. The D1 is a premium 24 bit DAC and headphone amplifier for your computer, TV, and more. The D1 connects to your computer's USB port or optical output without any software to download, making the D1 quick and easy to set up. Yeah, and I was like, I've noticed a significant difference from this now. They're also at nine, and they go to six here if they don't. If they don't. At block. first, I had thought it had something to do with the mics. I'm like, how many more things do you need for mics? No, this is the mic setup here. <clears throat> this is also a mic setup. Ha <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's bad. I mean, we're not running DAC into an 800 two channel integrated amplifier, then off a pair of 800 bookshelf speakers, but I, I do too. And I'll show you guys the audio engine I believe these are Wi-Fi maybe maybe not hmm. what did they just do how did they get these guys mall splicer oh biscuits well butter my biscuits did we not attack with this guy last turn wow that was terrible that was the reason we flipped it so they would have been at five. There's a lot going on, apparently. And, uh... It's player vampy boy. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. What if I was? Oh, wow. It explains so much. Uh... Audio engine. Nope, that ain't it. Oh yeah, they're the A five pluses. They're just not wireless. Yeah, so these are the these are the speakers I have, and I have them in the 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 natural bamboo finish, which is super nice. I actually haven't used the sound card in ages. Well, that's cool. You just have the oh yeah, I forgot you had that because you got something back, but I didn't know. Nothing we can really do about that. Like, if we play this guy, it also dies. Like, if we play this guy, it dies. Like, all our guys die. Wow, Rathy Trapper, huh? Okay, well, you're doing well for yourself. And that's good. I am happy for you. Yeah, we're just going to kill this guy. Then we're going to go Midnight Recovery on this guy. Cypher onto it. Return two guys. And... Get back Mirko. Mirko Polo. Is that good though? It doesn't seem great because we already have a bunch of plays to make. So we're just getting back more things to do. <clears throat> what can this kill? Like literally none of these things. Artifact, black, black. So it kills the 03 or the 1-1. The that seems bad. Great. Fantastic. But it was not great or fantastic. Oh yeah, you're right. So they'd be at 4 right now and then they would also go to 2 here. <coughs> Your prime speaker? What does that mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. That's a magic joke. I'm fond of it. I like it. I'm probably just going to play Penumbra Spider, but then they can just keep tapping this guy down. But we can't do anything about it anyway. Magic's hard, Michael. Michael. Could play 3 4. I guess we'll just play Spider here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hey man, move your arm. You don't have to be rubbing, arm. rubbing arms against me, right? My arm was there first. Get out of my zone. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from where they discard. Sure. Take whatever you like. New Gemma, have a good afternoon, buddy. Mike, have a good birthday. And so I shall. How's you lost you? I'm not sure you saw, but those are the speakers that I have. Yeah, I have A5 Plus in the natural bamboo, which are very nice. Uh, 
Should I mean? Do you guys rec- would you recommend using a sound card if you also have a DAC already? Like, if you're already converting it through a DAC, like, would you also need a sound card? It seems like one it or the other like is fine. I got the bamboo because my desk is also like wood. It's also is made from butcher's block from IKEA, so like they have a very similar. <clears throat> They have a very similar aesthetic. There's no reason to have a sound card anymore if you're running the two channels. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Like, I haven't used the sound card in ages. I used to have sound cards in all of my computers, and then I was like, is this making a difference? I don't know. God, Necrogenesis is also very good. Oh yeah, I love it when that you're you're like, oh, there's a location right here near me. I'll just go pick that up. Man, picking it up instead of shipping is so good. Really? Target gets plus one plus one and gains intimidate, so you can do that twice. So it's a six six. Yikes. And then you still get to keep a one black to Taparuski. That's pretty brutal. But you only get to kill one guy, so you'd probably kill this. I'm just going to take four here. What's the other ability? Sacrifice a non-token creature. Create X one ones or X is a sacrifice creature's toughness. You can sack this and make three one ones. Their deck is actually great, and I, I can't imagine they're also O2. You all right, man? You got scratchels? Yeah, I got scratchels. Is that from your addiction? Yeah, my addiction to scratchels. Well, the addiction causes it. You don't have to be addicted to the... Both. Okay. Good talk. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut your mouth. What was what you thought? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Why is this song stuck in my head? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. What is this guy? Probably like a 9 9? I guess we'll find out <clears throat> next time on Dragon Ball Bleeze. Or they just pump it. It's got to be like the 8 5, right? Next it's, time on Dragon My Ball Z. Yeah, it's never not that guy. So we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Seems good. Seems good. Wow, we are definitely O2 ing. Well, <laughs> not even better, O3 ing. <clears throat> That's what I meant. I don't know why I said it, but anyway. Wow, this deck was not its not good. If you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we only got the 10 play points. This deck was a train wreck. Ugh. But appreciate the support. If you guys want to check me out on Twitch or Patreon, those links are in the description below. Even a dollar a month is so helpful, guys. It really, it really adds up. And uh, if you guys want to check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, you can get the most comfortable micromodal underwear, onesies, socks, lounge pants, and you get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.